This video is all about showing you how to style with no props. And this video is related to beauty products, which is the niche that I mainly specialize in, but you could apply some of these techniques to other products as well. So one of my favorite no prop scenes is utilizing shadows and compositing products together to create a scene like this, or even this one I did here for my client event. Sometimes it can take a while to get the composition right of the products. Usually I'll play around with a couple of different looks to see what I like best in post-production. But let's take a quick look at the behind the scenes. For this scene, all you're going to need is a backdrop. It doesn't really matter what color backdrop you use. Um, you can use white and then just change the color in post-production. Sometimes it is easier to shoot on the colored backdrop in real life that you'll be replacing in Photoshop. So for these types of images, you have to do a full background removal in Photoshop, get a little creative with your placement of the products. For this scene, I'm not too sure yet what color backdrop I want to use in post-production. So I'm just going to shoot it on a white backdrop and then decide later. So to get started, I'm going to be shooting each product individually. I'm going to do a shot of them standing up and then I'm going to shoot the same image with the bottle lying down just so I can get creative with my compositions in post-production. Now, if you do want to learn how to put this type of image together in Photoshop, there's a full tutorial inside my course, Become a Brand Photographer. And on that super brief note, I've also started introducing guest contributors to the course where you're able to learn from other industry experts. So some guest contributors include Annie from Annie Captures Light, who shares a full one hour tutorial on her Photoshop retouching workflow. Michael from House House showing you Capture One and Photoshop. And I've just brought on a wonderful woman, Shay Marku, who has 10 years retouching experience and has worked with brands like Nike, Adidas, and the likes of Gigi Hadid. And I can tell you, she's got some skills that are going to blow your mind. And all that knowledge is inside the course for you. Now, if you would like a free taste of the course, you can watch my free photography masterclass where I show you how to do a go-to style of photo your clients will absolutely love. I'll leave that link in the description box below for you to check out. Another way I love to style with no props is when I have multiples of the same product and I can create an image like this one for my client, Aveen. So let's go behind the scenes on this image. So for this scene here, what we're going to do is just create a scene using multiples of the same product. And this can give a really cool effect and just highlight both the label and what's inside the product, different features when you showcase multiple products. So I'm gonna go ahead and start opening some of these. So we've got like a powder puff here as well that we can showcase. And obviously we wanna showcase the label, the mirror and the color inside. And I'm just gonna use a bit of stacking here as well to create more visual interest. And also have the products going at different ways as well. So just different angles. Even having the mirrors at different heights, open and closed. And for this image, I'm gonna showcase three compacts showing the labels. So I will be shooting this in a top-down view. So I'm really just looking at it from afar. Might have to move, move that in, maybe put that there. I'm gonna start with this and then see how I go. And when I'm working with beauty products, showcasing the texture is pretty much part of every shoot that I do. I really love this image here that I took for my client Amorphe. The hyaluronic acid gel is just so aesthetically pleasing to look at. And pairing this with a mirror, which I don't deem as a prop, it's a background, really helps to make this image pop. So let's go behind the scenes. For this image here, I'm gonna be focusing on just the product and the texture. Now these products are very reflective, so they do need a more complex lighting setup to capture them, but we're just focusing on the styling for today. So I'm going to secure this with some blue tack and I'm gonna take the top off. 
So I want to showcase what the nozzle looks like. Now, any reflective surface, you would clean it, but this is just for styling purposes. And next, I'm going to be squeezing out some of the texture. So I'm going to do a little dot here, dot here, and another one here. And then I want to create another semi here as well. So I'm just going to pump some out. I really love how this texture looks. Use a palette knife and then just give that a smear there. So I'm just going to move that a little bit closer to the texture, move that in and we're ready to take our shot. Actually the last thing I want to do is squirt it with some glycerin and water just to give it that hydrating look because it's a hyaluronic acid serum so we want it to look really hydrating. I also really love these cleanser shots I did for the foam cleanser and the milk cleanser for Avene. Again, we're just using really beautiful lighting and the texture to highlight the product and it really does stand on its own. Now, if you have different shaped products like from a makeup range, you can easily add visual interest by stacking products and using different angles like this image here for my client fit cover. And to top it off, we add a little bit of texture. So let's Let's go behind the scenes on this one. For this scene, I've got three different products that I want to focus on. This is one of them. And I'm going to have this laying down and a double like this. So I'm just going to secure this with some blue tack so it sits nicely and we can see the Fit Cover logo. The next is the foundation, liquid foundation. So I'm just going to pop that about there. And then we've got the Kabuki brush. So I think that's a little boring. So I want to angle it like this. And for that, I'm just going to secure it with some blue tack as well. And then what I want to do is add some powder to this section here so that we can really see what the texture of the powder looks like. And then we'll be done. So when you're working with multiple products, see what you can stack on top of each other and play around with different angles to create more visual interest in your scene. So I hope this tutorial has been helpful just to get those creative juices going if you're short on props but still want to get creative. Sometimes products really can look best when there aren't any props in the scene. So if you have any questions, let me know. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next video.